Because on this video, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly add text to a Logoist application. Great little application, you can find it on the Apple Store. And to add text, just go over here, text. But what I'm going to do is actually add the text from Graphic Extras, a font from Graphic Extras called Polkadot Set. And I'm just going to add a text box. I love the way it bounces down, really nice little feature. So you can just drag that out and just go over there to see all the various settings. And it's going to display them eventually. Yep. Right, so I've actually got the designs. I'm just going to use one letter. You modify the font size. Got various settings here, fill and stroke. But what I'm going to do is select over down here. There's actually blending modes as well. It's a nice little range of. I'm just going to find the graphic extras ones. And they're in here somewhere. It does take a few seconds for it to for them to appear. Reverse. Ah, there they are. GX just up at the top. All the graphic extras fonts, and like I say, you could use obviously not just graphic extras ones in this video, uh, in the application, but uh, you can use obviously any font set. So just select that one, select, and you'll see immediately the design changes there. Again, just go over there, bring that up, and now I'm just going to modify the font size. And I don't have to go with G, obviously, I could just change the character, I can go through a whole range of different characters that are in the set. There's one that's quite nice. So modify the scale. Now I've done that. As like I say, blending modes is various options there. Done. Now there's presets down here which are quite nice. Borders, effects, so various effects. You just very quick, easy change. And once you've actually done those changes, you can actually see all the various settings are down along here. So you can actually modify them. So you can go to the blur. You can actually modify that. So you don't have to stay with the default. Also, you've got various gradients. You can just click glass effects. Which again, you can of course modify, add additional effects. So patterns, metal, and just say, just select that one. Or maybe not. It's quite got quite a glow on that. Okay, so you've got that design. You can also add other effects. There's a whole range of borders, effect options here. You can add extrude. Color extrude, and just quickly extrude them out, and also other funds like pixelate, glow, half tone, and so on and so on, and bevel. And it gives you a quick little display as well, which is quite nice. And various blurs. Right, once you've actually done that, of course, you could the best thing export it as an image, layers, export as a Photoshop PST file, so you can. Once you've, once, once you've done design, you can export it quickly to Photoshop and use it in Photoshop. So all these sort of effects you can apply quickly in Photoshop and export as a PDF as well. Really quite useful. So then you can, of course, don't have to just continue with the actual font itself. You've got all these various other settings as well, other as a star or ellipse, etc. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.